Tracking error is a bad thing, right? If your investment advisor or if your own portfolio moves a lot, a long way away from your index, where you compare yourself with it, that's actually a bad thing. It's called tracking error. And financial professionals try to minimize tracking error. What they completely forget is that you cannot measure tracking error over the time that is actually relevant for you. I show you here on this example. Typically, tracking error is measured over the last one or two years. You know, you want to look if you have an index here as a blue line, if your assets, let's take the red asset, moves in line with your index and is a little bit better, which would be really good because you get a small tracking error and you get an outperformance. Or you, if you have another asset that actually moves completely out of line with the index. And the conclusion is invest in the red asset. This is what you actually do based on a one year time horizon. And what you're actually interested in to see is 30 years. So I don't know where these assets are going to go, but it's very likely, as you can imagine yourself, that these assets are not going to stay where they are. They're going to move someplace else. And if the green one happens to move above the index eventually, even if there are some periods when it is below, this was the better investment for you. If the red one actually moves below the index, you know, it's the worse investment. And that's the really important thing. If you look at your investment, don't worry about the tracking error. It only gives you a very, very narrow window of observing that asset. And it's never enough to judge if this asset is really correlated in the long term. Tracking error doesn't help you at all when making investment decisions. Forget about it. What is much more important is that your asset moves above everything else. Let's take an example. If oil shares are correlated with the index today, they're not as good as investment as, as, let's say, clean energy, even though maybe clean energy is not tracking your index at all last year. You have to look at your investment in a long-term perspective. And this means decisions today where the tracking error doesn't make any difference. Your portfolio should reflect your own consideration about what you think will be the important performance in the future. The tracking error of last year doesn't really make any difference. Good luck with your own investments.